Hello and welcome back, as always, my name is Laser, and today we're gonna do a bit of a different build for Zero Tool. Now, I normally do stuff like meta, okay, the most efficient way of playing a specific hero, however, today I want to have a little bit of fun because the meta for Zero Tool didn't really change all that much, okay, I'm gonna talk more about this subject in-game, so what we're going for today is full auto-attack suicide build zero tool huh sounds fun doesn't it anyway let's go over his abilities in case you're not familiar with zero tool he is a melee assassin classified as hard difficulty to play his q ability is cleave deal damage to nearby enemies instant aoe circle around you his w ability is a skill shot in a line called singularity spike flings a singularity spike that sticks to the first enemy hit deals damage after one second and slows the enemy by 40 percent for three seconds his e ability is blink teleport to target location instant blink okay and this will not decloak you. His trait is permanent cloak, gaining stealth when out of combat for 3 seconds. Taking damage, attacking, using abilities or channeling reveals you. When it comes to heroic abilities, we got a choice between Shadow Assault and Void Prison. Void Prison being by far the most popular and efficient choice. However guys, today we are going for Shadow Assault. Anyway, let's skip straight to the actual gameplay. I serve. Alright guys, so we landed on the Cursed Hollow and we're gonna pick up our first talent for Zero Tool, but first we're gonna take a look at the enemy team. Falstaff, Nzebo, Brightwing and Chogal. Hmm, interesting. I think we got the first chance at winning this. Anyway, at the first level for Zero Tool, you got two viable choices. Regeneration Master and Season Marksman. Regen Master is gonna help you get your health back up while you're roaming from lane to lane in search of those awesome awesome ganks. However, this time we're gonna go for Season Marksman, the other viable choice. For every 6 enemy minion or capture mercenary kills near your hero gain 1 basic attack damage, hero takedown count as 3 minion kills. So we're gonna pick this up. Now we're still gonna roam, okay guys, we're still gonna roam from lane to lane, except that this time we're gonna be a bit more careful about building up that season marksman, okay? We're gonna make sure to stay in range of some uh, minion kills, okay? So we can uh, pump up that season marksman, anybody here? No, nobody here, just an zebra. Uh, should we gank the Nazebro? Okay, apparently RATC wants to gank the Nazebro. I'm gonna be a little bit careful. Are you here, Nazebros? Oh, 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 Nazebros! Oh, Nazebros! So this, this Nazebros! And there goes the Nazebro for first blood, and we're off to a flying start in this game. Alright, guys, so I said that Zertul's meta didn't change. I did a build guide for him about three months ago, and there's not really, not really that much different about it, okay? That's why I'm doing this specific build. Uh,. We got a uh, focused attack removed from Zero Tool, and well, that's kind of sucky, but we got a talent that will uh, replace that uh, Master Warp Blade, so the meta didn't really change all that much. With the changes to Gathering Power, you can once again, though, build the uh, ability power Zero Tool through uh, double void spikes and so on and so forth. So yeah, this is why I'm doing this, which is a bit crazy. I'm heading down the uh, bottom lane, apparently nobody's meant they're gonna lose the XP off it though, so I'm going bot where my Uther is early loon. I'm coming Uther, do not worry. Always remember to ping guys that you're going in. Okay, good damage onto him, going in, going in, I'm all in at the time. Okay, we gotta be backing away because the Brightwing polymorphed there. Okay, no problem, no problem at all, gonna get cloaked and head back to middle lane because there's nobody there to pick up the XP's and I'm also gonna build up my Season Marksman, okay, and he came as well. So like I said guys, I wanna stick around in lane to build a Season Marksman as well, okay, so you can see I got 4 stacks already, that means, oh no, 5 stacks, okay, good. I'm not gonna go top because we're not gonna beat that Chogol. Okay, he's asking for assistance. Okay, we're going in. The Chogol is a bit a bit too brave there. Rainer is in range of the minions. We're gonna come in. Here comes ATC. This might be a double kill for us. Okay, Singularity Spike did land. Perfect stun by the ATC. Cancelling the Chogol's Q ability with. We just don't have enough damage to kill him before he gets the towers. Alright, next talent for Zero Tool is gonna be Master uh, Warblade. This is the new talent for Zero Tool. Every third consecutive basic attack against the same hero deals 100% bonus damage. There are other viable options for auto attack Zero Tool. You wanna take Vampire Strike if you want a little bit more sustain, a little bit more viability when it comes to one on ones, or Gathering Power if you wanna build Ability Power Zero Tool. <gasps> Full steady! Okay, you're gonna dash, I'm gonna blank, then land my Void Spike on you and just back away. Any good damage there, unfortunately the stun missed. No problem, no problem. And the first tribute has spawned on the top lane and we're gonna head there. Already six stacks of season marksman. Not the best, but again, I'm a roamer. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give up roaming. Okay, we're gonna kill that Chogol. Uh kill on a Rainer. Rather unfortunately. Okay. 
A lot of damage onto the Chogol and he's gonna fall. That's gonna be a double kill. The Rainer did die to the Chogol, but that's effectively a two for one. So absolutely worth it. Now, if you see the uh, false stat kind of remained on the middle lane there. Okay, I'm gonna head into the fight. I'm gonna head into the fight. Here I come, guys. We managed to pick up the first uh, tribute. No big deal. No big deal. First tribute is not important. They opted to stay on lanes and get the XP, which kind of worked out a little bit for them because they're in front on XP. Not a big deal, though. All right, let's... Clear these up, build up these and marksmen even more. Gonna land a singularity spike on the bright wing, nothing too important. And we're gonna head down the bottom lane and assist there. The ATC is heading there as well, I see. And the Chogol and the bright wing are kinda on the middle lane at this time. Okay, so there's nobody here to kill. Okay, there is a false dead. Did he see me? I think he did. I think he saw me there. But I gotta clear these up and keep on building season marksmen. Alright guys, so like I said, we're gonna go full uh, full auto attack, full suicide build. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I actually have a team. Okay, I have a team composition that can actually support this. Oh, hi Zertul. Uh, not Zertul. Okay, dash, 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 good boy. Okay, you dashed. Now you're all dead. Singularity Spike will finish him up, no need. Okay, so that's a kill right before the Tribute spawn. And we're gonna head there on the top lane. Talent at level 7, two strong choices here for uh, Suicide Zero Tool. Follow through and Searing Attacks. We're gonna pick up Searing Attacks. Like I said, guys, I'm going all in. All in, okay? And the team composition we have kind of supports that. Because I got my Uther, okay, which can uh, Divine Shield me. Void Spike. Landed. Good. More damage. And that's a kill. Switching my focus right now. Switching my focus. Okay, come here. Zero. Ah, damn it. Okay, we didn't get the Nazi, bro, but we did get the little butterfly there. I'm a little, I'm a little bit of trouble here. A little bit of trouble. I want to I wanna get cloaked. I got Searing Attacks. Okay, activate Searing Attacks. A lot of damage onto this guy. Will he fall? Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, give me the double kill. Give me the double kill. Thank you very much. I am on the false stat. Brightwing teleporting in. We're a little bit low. We're a little bit low. Okay, I'm, I gotta be careful. My guys are kind of out of mana at this point. Uh, I wonder if I can actually... Yeah, I'm going back to Healing Fountain. And then I'm gonna head back in if the tribute will not be captured up until that point. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's get in there. Come in, guys. Come in. Okay, Rainer missed the Q there. No problem. No problem at all. I'm going for the false stat. Come on, turn around, chicken. Searing attacks have been used. Switching to the bright wing and a... Oh, no. Chogol, 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 we gotta go. Annie is in a bad position there, unfortunately for us. Switching to the Brightwing, not the Chogol, obviously. I got the Brightwing out of the fight, but I gotta get away with my life, hopefully. Hopefully I will. Annie didn't heal me, she healed herself. Or, uh, no problem. Okay, we're good, we got a tribute, we should really back away. I'm gonna signal the back away, I'm gonna signal the back away. Rainer should be fine. If he backs away. <laughs> okay, the Uther helped him out there. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. No problem. Uh, now I'm gonna head down the middle lane. Uh, let's check stats for a second, guys. Here we go. A little bit behind the Rainer. We got nine kills. The enemy team has got only one kill. And the Tribute has spawned on the bottom lane. And a kill on our Tyrande by the Chogo. Alright, here's a Tribute. The Nazebo's there. All vulnerable. ATC going in for the Nazebo. The Nazebo have not spotted me. Searing attacks have been activated. A lot of damage. Void Spike landed. Ah, damn it. Not enough. Not enough. And I gotta be backing away. A lot of tower damage. Oh. Uh, a lot of tower damage onto me. I thought the ATC would go in and he'll take the damage. And we managed to curse the enemy team. In a good position. Void Spike on the Nazebo. That'll mean he's slowed. Auto attacks on him. My third basic attack is gonna do the, a lot of damage. And it does. Another kill there. Awesome. 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 Okay. Now when this build shines, guys, is when we hit level 10 and I get to pick up Heroic and so is Uther, as in right now. Shadow Assault now. But I need a clear line of sight. Oh! Okay, I'm going in. I can't go in. I can't jump. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go, bro. There we go. See, this is how the build works, guys. See? The Uther there was the key element in that, okay? Because right-clicking, this is what you do with this build. You right-click. It's not all that hard. Let's be serious. Okay, but they, with the Divine Shield from Uther, there's nothing they can do about it about me. They can't CC me. Okay, they can't slow me. They can't mostly anything me. And my problem is I'm out of mana because of the Searing attacks I picked up. I'm gonna be careful. Void Spike has landed. Searing attacks have been activated. And another kill on the Chogol, baby. Awesome. Working out fine. Working out fine. Good job, guys. Good job, everybody. Hey, how, how about we kill this fort? Huh, guys? You want to kill this fort? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, good. Awesome. I'm going to go back for mana. Now, the problem with picking up Searing Attacks, guys, is you're going to get out, out of mana. You're going to run out of mana after you kill, like, two people. Okay? You just saw how that works. But it's definitely worth it with such a team composition. 
Again, guys, this is not a meta build. Don't necessarily do this. I have a team comp. I have my guys with me that actually support such a build, okay? And we can get out, uh, get the most out of it because of our team composition. But in other conditions, this might not be a good idea at all because you know what can happen? You will just go in, okay? You will pop your cooldowns, go in, boom, 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 and you'll just get CC'd and wrecked. Simple, okay? One stun on you and then you're dead. Let's signal a few times for assist over here. Not get stunned. Void spike there. There we go. Oh, uh, come on guys, you wanna help us? I'm taking a little bit of a beating here. I'm taking a little bit of a beating. My Uther's on the way, so I'm not scared. Okay, awesome, awesome. We're gonna be able to pick up this uh, boss, and then maybe we can scope off their boss, too. Okay, we're good. Nine minutes into the game, full level in front of the enemy team. The stats don't matter, but that means we are, uh, we are a bit closer to level 13 and a talent, which is a big deal. Okay, what I wanna do... I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for one of my guys. Okay, I'm gonna pop cooldowns and just murder this guy. There you go. So what I did there, I popped uh, both my Shadow Assault and my Searing Attacks and you just saw that uh, we just practically melted that guy with no problem at all. Good damage there. Void Spike onto the Chogol. I gotta be a little bit careful. I'm gonna pick up, you know what? Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna go for Assassin Blade, even though might be, oh, good ulti there by our uh, ATC. We're gonna wreck, we're gonna wreck. Searing attacks have been activated, but, uh, got the goddamn Brightwing he used Emerald Dream to push me away. And I'm out of mana again, okay, guys? This is strictly because, because of Searing attacks. This is why you run out of mana. So if you don't like that, just go for follow through instead of Searing attacks. That can work out nicely. Alright, so we managed to get a Chogol there, so that means a double kill. Apparently my guys are lagging. Come on, come on, let's get in there. Okay, my Rainer is in position. They didn't spot me. We got a tribute on the top lane. Gonna pick up more stacks of Season Marksman. Do a uh, Void Spike onto the Nazebo and just back away. We gotta back away. We're not in full team composition, okay? And there's a Chogol. Oh no. Oh no, this ain't good. Oh no, I don't like this. Searing attacks have been activated. I'm on the bright wing, I'm on the bright wing, I gotta get out, I gotta get out, okay. And our Rainer has died, he got caught a little bit there, and I Uther is gonna hit the dirt as well, there's not much I can do at this point. We got caught there, we should have backed away, and the Rainer there managed to hit the dirt. Rather unfortunate, but no big deal. And I'm gonna head back because I'm out of mana, and there's not really much I can do to contest this, or maybe I'll stay in, maybe I'll be suicidal and stay in. I wonder if the Gull... Ah, oh, damn it! I was hoping I would have enough time to pop that right wing. I did not, and the enemy team uh, has picked up, or did we pick up? No, we also so picked up the tribute, so it's all good. Gotta go back, gotta go back. Alright, folks, let's talk about other options. Like I said, for when it comes to Heroic, Void Prism is the way you wanna go, okay? I'm just doing this for fun. I'm just doing uh, this to showcase the build and show you guys wha what exactly Zertul is capable of in the right composition. But Void Prism is absolutely the way to go. Still one of the most powerful Heroic abilities in game, if you ask me, at least. At this level, you can go for Giant Killer if you, uh, the enemy team has a lot of heroes which are AVN HP. Absolutely, good choice. Wormhole is uh, the, the most popular choice because it will allow you to get out of a sticky situation and spell shield can be used uh, if the enemy team has too much uh, what you call it spell damage searing attacks I'm on this I'm on the Nazebo Nazebo's dead switching to the bright wing now the Chogol should be dead ult by the false dead there and a kill there jumping onto the false dead he slowed by my void spike and he will hit the dirt and that's gonna be a 4 for 1. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. I'm a little bit low on mana. 40% on mana again because of Searing Attacks. I guess you guys are interested in stats. Here you go. Okay, so I'm a little bit behind damage on the Rainer. You know me, I don't pay attention to KD, so I don't really care about that specific aspect at all. But I do see the Brightwing is low on mana. Okay, he picked up Fountain. Never mind. Okay, we're gonna pick up Berserk. Activate to increase your attack speed by 40% and movement speed by 10% for 4 seconds. Okay, he just used... He just used his polymorph, and I'm just gonna wreck him. No need for the ATC ult, but that was indeed, uh, that allowed us to be certain of the kill. Kill secure and all that good stuff. And we're gonna destroy this. Switching to the choke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, 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 I saw that. I gotta go. I gotta go. Come on, ATC. We got a jet. And jumping right out of that one. Hopefully my ATC will be able to get away. Nah, ulti used by Gal there. We'll clean up my ATC. News. How horrible. How horrible. Okay, we got Tribute down the bottom lane. 
Gotta be a little bit careful here. Going in on him. Searing attacks have been activated. And he's gonna die. Uh, yeah, okay, man. But you're still gonna die. Why'd you waste that cooldown, man? Horrible. Horrible of you. Absolutely horrible. I'm gonna go back. We got a tribute on the bottom lane. And check stats once again. I am gaining on the Rainer in damage. And as the game progresses, because of Season Marksman, I should be able to overtake him. Unless he also picked up Season Marksman. Did you? No, he picked up Give Me More. Alright, here we go. We should be able to pick this up. They still got three people dead on the enemy team. Uh, help, help the Uther, please. Help the Uther. Okay, he just used Rewinder. Very good. Our guys are in position. I want to take him from the side, but I'm still a little bit away. My guy's retreating. Oh, damn it. That false that out. Cooldowns have been activated. A lot of damage onto the Brightwing. Unfortunately, I was slowed. Without the Uther's Divine Shield, they can CC me. And if they CC me, my uh, cooldowns are gonna run out, okay? They're just for a few seconds. That's why you need Divine Shield uh, from the Uther. I got my uh, Shadow Assault, but unfortunately, I don't got the uh, Berserk Talent. Okay, I gotta be careful. Good kill there. I wanna go in. I don't know if the Uther has Divine Shield. This is why I'm not... Okay, I'm going in. Fuck it. Gotta blink away! <laughs> Too late. Ah, damn. Okay, so the Uther did not have the Divine Shield there, unfortunate. But we did get the Chogol and only I died. So that is effectively a free for one Still beneficial for our side. Tribute has spawned on the top lane. My guys will head there to get it. So this is how the build works, guys, okay? It's very exciting. You can absolutely wreck people with it. Okay, again, if you got good uh, team synergy, okay, with your guys. Maybe you with your Uther. U Uther is very important, okay? Uther is very important to this team composition. Because as you saw earlier, I popped my cooldowns. I went on the full set, but I got slowed. So I wasn't in range to do the damage. My uh, cooldowns uh, ran out and, well, didn't do get anything done. So effectively, it was a waste. And I do believe that was my first death of the game as well. Alright, my guy starting on the boss. Very good idea there. Uh, although, in during a actual curse, I prefer to push a lane. And then when the curse is like on 10, 15 seconds, something like that, then I go for a boss. That's just my preferred tactic. Okay, we're gonna be able to pick this up. And then we're gonna roam. Hopefully try to get a kill or two on the enemy team. Gotta get out of that one. What's the cooldown on this one? 30 seconds. Okay, so we got 30 seconds on the enemy team boss. I'm gonna signal. We're gonna force a fight there. Okay, the boss is gonna be up in 20 seconds. We can get it. Okay. Our ATC is lagging, I think. I don't know. Okay, my guy's engaging on the bright wing. Uh, yeah. With the ATC not, uh, not being part of it, I don't really want to go for their boss. Let's clear all these up for Season Marksman. I got 33 stacks, so that's good. Okay, we're starting to push here. Not going for the boss, we're pushing instead. Okay, the curse is up. Emerald Dream, used by Brightwing, deal a little bit of damage and actually buys his team a little bit of time to get in position. Currently, they are focusing on top lane, on getting rid of the boss. They almost did so. Okay, ulti used. I'm going in. Missed Void Spike, I gotta go. I wonder if the Uther can save me. Okay, he did save me. Gotta be careful here. ATC, use the Mosh Pit. Got the stun. Going in. Ah, oh, damn it. A lot of damage onto him. I got a jet. We're gonna die here. Damn it. That was extremely, extremely sloppy for from us. Not really good at all. Uh, talent at level 20, we're gonna take Nexus Blades, basic attack deals 20% more damage and slow enemies movement speed by 20% for one second. So that wasn't really too good, but no problem. Here's stats some more guys, if you're interested in this. Now ideally what I would have done there was the initial plan, okay? Just leave them alone when the uh, curse was almost up and just go for their boss and force a fight at their boss, okay? Because then they wouldn't have the privilege of towers and cores, okay? Protecting them, actually doing a lot of damage onto us. Because the enemy team didn't really kill us there, what killed us was the towers and the core. But well, no problem, guys. No problem at all. We're still a little bit in front, and I have faith that we will absolutely wreck them this game. Alright, we got lanes pretty pushed. Nice. The enemy team managed to secure the boss, which will be pushing oh, down our bottom lane. 
which has kind of already taken a beating. Uh, if this fort falls, that means catapults on the bottom lane for the enemy team and we did not manage to kill any of their inner forts either so I would definitely defend this especially that uh, we are not getting close to anybody cursing anybody okay there's only one tribute for the enemy team and that's it okay we're going in gonna deal damage to this guy oh we'll, we'll be able to nuke him down hopefully before he destroys our inner keep our rainer is not with us he defended mid a little bit and another fort has fallen down the middle lane don't worry guys, this might look like a turnaround for the enemy team, but trust me, it is not. All we need is a decent team fight, and we got him with no problem. Tribute down the bottom lane. It's gonna spawn in approximately 6 seconds, so we're gonna head there. Okay, let's ping a couple of times, just to show our intention. Come on folks, mount up and go. Okay, the tribute has spawned. They might actually get it. I don't wanna fight unless we're in proper position to do so. Yeah, 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 no, no, no fight, no fight. Rainer caught again, and Rainer killed again. ATC going in with the mosh pit on the full step, wreck the full step on the bright wing, wreck the bright wing on the Nazi bro. Hold on, Nazi There goes the Nazi Okay, so that's a one free. Okay, good, awesome. We killed three. Okay, so my build worked exactly like I wanted it to, and that's gonna be a full team cleanup just for one Rainer on our side. So even that the uh, Rainer got caught there, okay, and uh, killed uh, the ATC mosh pit was very good and allowed me to deal the damage. After the mosh pit was done, my Uther came in with the Divine Shield, which allowed me to keep on chasing the uh, enemy squishies without getting CC'd, slowed, and so on and so forth. Pretty good. Okay, we're going for the core apparently. No, we can't go for the core if we didn't kill an inner keep, bro. Uh, you can't attack the core if you didn't kill an inner keep. Okay, we got a jet. We got a jet. We got a jet. That's rather sad to see, <laughs> but it happens. I've seen it before. It's okay. All right, we got a tribute on the top lane. We're gonna uh, I actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back to base. I'm low on mana, low on health. I'm just gonna go back to base. Tyrande there, overstaying her welcome. Alright, my Uther is there, uh, trying to deter the enemy team until we get in position. We should be good, the Chogol just spawned, okay, so if the Uther manages to just delay them a little bit more, here comes Annie, good stun on the Brightwing, activates, vulnerable on him, good damage, knock the Brightwing down to 50%, Emerald Dream used by Brightwing, pushes everybody away, ATC coming in from the sideline, here I come as well, I got all my cooldowns, bye bye, bye bye, Falstad. Okay, ult, finally, oh, awesome. Uh, my Uther saved me there. Got two kills on the squishies. The Chogol is a bad position. I'm just gonna single out the uh, Nazebo here. Playing to him. And he's dead. Awesome. What about the Chogol? Did he die? Oh, he's dead. So, yet again, just like the other team fight, guys, it was pretty much the same. Uh, what you call it? The same uh, recipe there. I went on the squishies. Destroyed the free squishies. Uh, false dead. Brightwing and Nazebo, uh, while the Chogol was all alone against four of my guys. Oh yeah, yeah, this is good. I'm gonna come here. We can get this, no problem. We could also push mid and GG. We could also do that, but I, the guys wanna do this, so I will help them. I will oblige them, no problem at all. Taking a little bit of damage, but no uh, real issue. So you see, guys, that's th that's kind of how this is supposed to work, and we didn't have a pristine ADC ult this time. With Shogal being very, very strong, you might have uh, might have considered taking Giant Killer. Okay, a ton of HP that guy has got. Giant Killer would have worked wonderful for you, for you against uh, against him. But the problem is only against him in this match. If they had another HP target like a Kazmodan or another Warrior or something like that, I would have gone for uh, Giant Killer. But considering he was the only IHP target, I opted for Assassin Blade. Uh, Assassin's Blade would gives you 25% basic attack damage for five seconds when breaking cloak, 10% increased movement speed while cloaked so it helps me get in position better as well we're towing with the enemy team now we can absolutely finish but this is fun hey eh? this is fun okay here's stats overtook the rainer on damage we're fighting guys i don't think they, they'll contest this they got a boss down the bottom lane guys oh ha! that was a bad idea i got it yes false that i know emerald dream will hit nobody probably okay i'm going in i'm going in Ah, oh, he ran away. 
No need for me to stay there and help with the tribute. We already got it. So I'm just gonna get in position for the final team fight. The final team fight. Come on, bros. Final team fight. Let's go. Let's destroy him. Oh, 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 look, guys. Guys, look. Bye bye, false dead. Going on the bright wing. La 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 la. There goes bright wing. While my camera control was pretty bad, I still managed to destroy two squishies with my cooldowns active. So, you see what I'm doing, right? Pop and Seer Attack, pop Berserk, pop Shadow Assault and pray to God. Uh, I mean, and, and go on them. <laughs> right, right click, that's all I do. It doesn't really require that much skill. And you can make it work too, but again, team composition. Make sure your guys know what the hell you wanna do. Because other than that, uh, if you don't do that, well, you might, uh, might end up just getting CC'd and wrecked before you do anything, mostly. Okay, and this is gonna be GG. Here's final stats, guys. Final builds. I'm gonna li link this specific build in the comment uh, in the description, just like you guys want to. And that's pretty much it. Nothing more to say. Again, if you're going for this build, please communicate with your team on what are your intentions. Thank you guys for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you again soon. Victory.